the total cost is 250 billion. China's Xulong hydropower station under construction has successfully closed the flow. What will happen if it is fully developed? China's Three Gorges Dam is a large-scale comprehensive development project with a total cost of 250 billion yuan. The Xulong hydropower station on the Jinsha River, which has been closed for one month, has already exceeded one-tenth of the total cost of the Three Gorges Dam. Why? In fact, the closure of the Xulong hydropower station on the Jinsha River not only changed the water flow trend of the Jinsha River, it was an energy feat that affected thousands of households in China. In this video, let us learn more about it. Xulong Hydropower Station, located at the junction of Dichin County in Yunnan Province and Durong County in Sichuan Province, is an important power station in the upper reaches of the Jinsha River. The main task of this project is to generate electricity, which is one of the important supporting power sources for power transmission from west to east. Xulong Hydropower Station is large-scale, with a total storage capacity of approximately 847 million cubic meters. What is the concept of 847 million cubic meters? It is equivalent to 327 Great Pyramids, 1,025 Taj Mahals, and 2,288 Empire State Buildings. Therefore, Shulong also has a strong installed capacity of 2,400 megawatts, which is equivalent to the total power of 480 to 1,200 large wind turbines, and the total power generation capacity of 2 to 3 large nuclear power plants. Its main project includes a concrete double-curved arch dam with a maximum height of 213 meters, and an underground power station on the right bank, equipped with four 600-megawatt hydroelectric generating units. This majestic hydropower station demonstrates China's impressive technical strength and power production, potential in the field of water conservancy. In order to achieve flow interception, Xulong Hydropower Station adopted a solution called single-barrel one-way vertical blockage interception. This plan intercepts the riverbed at one time, allowing the upstream and downstream cofferdams to retain water all year round, while the high and low holes on the left bank are used to divert water. The hydraulic indicators of the interception have reached the international leading level, making this interception the most challenging project of its kind in human history. The construction of Xulong Hydropower Station began in May 2004 and was undertaken by Yangtze River Design Group. The project construction site is located in a Tibetan gathering area in Sichuan, Yunnan and Tibet provinces. The terrain, geological conditions, and water flow conditions are very complex. Hydropower stations are usually located in mountainous areas with high mountains, steep slopes, and sparsely populated areas. However, the site selection of a hydropower station is not easy. First, it is necessary to ensure that there is a large enough terrain drop to maximize the conversion of the kinetic energy of the water flow into electrical energy and achieve higher output of electricity output. Considering safety factors, hydropower stations must be located away from seismic zones with active geological and rock formations. The left bank of Xulong Hydropower Station is located in Gars, Sichuan, and the right bank is located in Diching, Yunnan. The mountains on both sides are almost vertical at 90 degrees, and the terrain is steep and precipitous. Facing the complex actual environment, the Xulong Hydropower Station project faces the characteristics of three highs and three majors including high seismic intensity, high dam area slopes, high environmental protection requirements, and 
Difficulty in temperature control, large fluctuations in power generation flow, and difficulty in resettlement, etc. To ensure the smooth progress of the project, China Yangtze Design Group conducted a large amount of survey work, including 25,600 meters of geological drilling, nearly 3,000 square kilometers of geological surveying and mapping, more than 1,500 square kilometers of topographic survey, and the writing of more than 150 various design reports. The power generation period of the first unit is eight years, and the total construction period is eight years and two months. Eight years, what a long time. In order to welcome this successful closure, many Chinese engineers work day and night without food or sleep. Finally, at the end of March 2024, we ushered in a critical and successful step that belongs to science, technology, and the bright future of mankind. The Jinsha River, which originates from the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, is one of the main tributaries of the Yangtze River. It is also the most dangerous and rapid rolling wave in China that we have known for a long time. It is the huge gap between the upstream and downstream and the turbulent water flow that constitutes a natural treasure house of hydroelectric power generation. Shulong Hydropower Station is located directly upstream of this treasure house. It is expected that once the Shulong Hydropower Station is completed and put into operation, it will be able to generate approximately 10.5 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year, which is equivalent to saving 3.15 million tons of standard coal and reducing carbon dioxide emissions by 7.86 million tons. The annual power generation of the Three Gorges Dam is approximately 100 billion kilowatt hours, and the amount of carbon dioxide emissions directly reduced is 85 million tons. In such an intuitive comparison, the energy of Shulong Hydropower Station seems to be one-tenth that of the Three Gorges Dam. However, its practical significance goes far beyond that. You should know that the hydropower resources contained in the Jinsha River are even larger, totaling 112.4 million kilowatts. The technically exploitable water energy resources are as high as 88.91 million kilowatts, and the annual power generation potential is astonishing. According to statistics, it can reach 504.1 billion kilowatt hours. This is equivalent to five Three Gorges dams generating electricity at the same time. Therefore, due to its rich hydropower resources, the Jinsha River region has become one of the countries with the highest degree of hydropower development, the largest number of hydropower projects, the highest technology density, and the most far-reaching influence in China. It is also listed as the top location among China's 13 largest hydropower bases. Therefore, although the Shulong Hydropower Station is relatively small in scale, it has demonstrated unparalleled significance in the overall hydropower and water conservancy development of the Jinsha River, promoting regional economic development, easing national power shortages, and promoting double carbon, and clean energy. The successful interception marks that Shulong Hydropower Station has entered the construction stage of the main project. Looking from the end of the cofferdam, a wide area will appear downstream. In the future, a 213-meter-high dam will be erected, becoming the iconic main building of the hydropower station. With the completion and commissioning of the power station, Shulong Hydropower Station will make a significant contribution to China's economic and social development and rural revitalization in the southwest region. It is also expected to deliver more than 10 billion kilowatt hours of clean electricity to the eastern region. 
This will effectively alleviate the contradiction between energy supply and demand in the eastern and western regions and promote balanced regional economic development. The construction of hydropower stations on the upper reaches of the Jinsha River will further promote the development and construction of clean energy bases in the region and achieve the goal of one project driving the economy of one area and improving the environment of one area. The historical issues arising from the construction of the Three Gorges Dam have also become a major historical reference for the construction of Shulong Hydropower Station. Potential problems such as water levels, silt, migration of residents, geological disasters, ecological damage, etc. have all become difficulties that hinder development. In fact, in order to reduce damage to the ecological environment of the Jinsha River and its coasts, Shulong Hydropower Station adopted a number of environmentally friendly ecological and environmental protection measures during the construction process. In the early stage, the project team adopted measures to store water and release ecological flow during the operation period to adapt to the change in the water environment of the river section of the reservoir area from the rapid flow type of the river to the slow flow type of the lake after the operation of the project. In terms of water environment, measures such as cleaning the bottom of the reservoir before impounding water, raising the elevation of the water inlet floor, and setting up buttress-type front retaining walls in front of the water inlet are used to reduce the impact of the project on the river water quality. In order to solve the blocking impact of the project on fish, the project team designated fish habitat protection waters and implemented fish passing measures for existing small hydropower stations. It is reported that after the closure, the water in the Jinsha River will bypass the dam from the left bank mountain through the diversion tunnel and then merge into the Jinsha River again one kilometer downstream. The water in the upper reaches and the fish in the river will not be affected by the closure. In terms of terrestrial ecology, the project team has implemented a series of measures, including establishing a plant germplasm resource garden, transplanting and protecting rare plants, limiting the scope of construction, optimizing project layout, carrying out vegetation restoration, carrying out wildlife monitoring and conducting wildlife search and rescue, etc. These measures are intended to maximize the protection of the local ecological environment on the basis of resource development and utilization. The success of water conservancy construction is in the contemporary era and will benefit the future. On the banks of the Jinsha River, the Shulong Hydropower Station is like a pearl embedded in the magnificent land of southwest China. Through scientific planning and superb engineering technology, Shulong Hydropower Station successfully realized the closure of the river, which marked a solid step in the construction of a clean energy base in the upper reaches of the Jinsha River. Shulong Hydropower Station is like a guardian waiting for future challenges. May this pearl shine with the light of hope above the Jinsha River, leaving a better home for our descendants. In the future, with the putting into use and development of Shulong Hydropower Station, it will eventually become a colorful and wonderful chapter of mankind's transformation and protection of nature. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.